Hi everybody, this is G and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I will be sharing a very important topic which is investing in the Philippine stock markets and three things that you should do before you invest your money in the stock markets. So marami nagtatanong sa akin, Mahirap nga ba mag-invest sa stock markets? Hindi naman kailangan na graduate ka na isang kursong related sa finance o related sa stock market para makapag-invest. Kailangan mo lang talagang mag-invest ng time in doing your research. Now, I will be pointing out 9 basic questions that may come up into your mind when you want to invest in the stock markets. 1. What is a stock? 2. What is a stock market? Lagi nating naririnig yung word na stock market. Ano nga ba ang stock market? 3. How to buy a stock? 4. How to make money from the stock market? Number 5. Why invest in the stock market? Number 6. What are the different forms in investing in the stock market? Number 7. What are the things that you should look into in investing in the stock market. Number eight, what is the best and the worst scenario in investing in a certain stock? Number nine, what are the fees involved in stock market investing? And number ten, of course, I'm gonna give you an advice on the things you should do or you should consider before investing into the stock market. So let's get started. Number one, what is a stock? A share of stock is just simply an ownership in a company. In the Philippines, there are a lot of companies involved in the stock market. And here are some of them. For example, when you buy a stock of Jollibee, you are a part owner of Jollibee Corporation. If you buy a small share of Jollibee, that means... You are a very small owner of Jollibee Corporation. However, if you can buy all the stocks or all the shares of stocks of Jollibee, you are a 100% owner of Jollibee Corporation. However, Jollibee nowadays worth billions of pesos. So here in the stock market, we are just uh, talking about part ownership of a certain company or a certain business. And in every unit you buy is called share. Why are these companies get into the stock market? Well, there are many reasons. One of them is to have publicity. The more these companies get into the public, mas nakikilala sila ng tao. And with that, mas mabenta yung kompanya nila. Second, to get more cash and funds for the company's extension, renovation, or it could be for the company's development for research and um, initiatives, and so on and so forth, for them to grow. And of course, they get this money from the public or from the stock market. And that is where stock investing comes in. Number two, what is a stock market? Isipin nyo lang yung public market. You go to the market to buy fruits. So in exchange of your money, you get fruits. And if you want to sell those fruits in a higher price, so you earn something from selling that fruits. So it's just the same as in the stock market, wherein in exchange of your money, you get some stocks. And for you to get profit from the stocks, you have to sell those stocks in a higher price. So stock market is just where the transaction of buying and selling of shares of stocks takes place. So depending on your location, we have Tokyo Stocks Exchange in Japan. We also have Shenzhen Stock Exchange in China. We also have the New York Stock Exchange in the U.S. And of course, here in the Philippines, we have the Philippine Stock Exchange in which the trading floor is located now in uh, BGC in Taguig which is the merger of the two old trading floors 
which are located in um, Ayala and in Pasig in Ortigas. So this is how the stock market looks like when it opens in the trading floor. Two, one. Photo opportunities with our guest of honor. Number three, how to buy stocks in the stock market. With the technology we have today, there's no need for you to go straight to the PSE office to do the selling and buying of stocks. Um, you can use your computer or even your smartphones if you have internet or even when you're vacation, you can do the buying and selling of stocks. First, of course, all you need to do is just to set up an online stock broker. So what are stock brokers? They are the mediators for you to be able to trade in the stock markets. All you have to do is to set up an account with them. Just fund your account and you can start trading in the stock market. They have almost all the information you need, just like transactions, buying and selling of stocks, and also research for fundamental and technical analysis. So yung dati, I opened an account with Call Financial and it was still 5,000 to start an account. So with that 5,000, after 3 days na nag-open ako sa kanila, nakapag-trade na ako. So 5,000 worth of stocks yung ginawa ko 3 days after I opened an account with them. But this time, in Call Financial, you can open an account with just 1,000 pesos. So if you want to increase your fund, then you can just do banking transactions, just BPI, you can just pay uh, directly to BPI or even mobile um, phone banking is already available for um, funding your accounts. But then um, I also advise that you have to be careful on these stock brokers. The only listed, the, the complete list in the Philippine Stock Exchange are the official lists of um, stock brokers. So, be careful of those scammers um, out there. So, here how you can find the complete lists of stock brokers. Check this out. Number four, how to earn in the stock market. Basically, I'm going to explain two ways. The first one, of course, is to buy low and sell high. Now, for example, you bought um, Jollibee um, stock shares eight years ago, uh, 100 pesos per share. And since Jollibee is now expanding and then, um, of course, earns some profits and has branches all over the countries, and even in other countries. So Jollibee is now up to 150 pesos per share. And so if you decide to, to sell your shares, of course you earl, already earn some profits. You earn 50 uh, pesos per share. So that is buy low and sell high. Number two, of course through dividends. If a company earns profit in a span of time, then they will also give you dividend that will be deposited directly to your online stock broker's account. That could be used to buy more stocks if you want. And if you buy, of course, more stocks in that dividend that you earn, you're letting your money grow with, um, that, as they say, co with compound interests. Now, 
um, in my case, I my stockbroker, which is called Financial, they'll just give you a notification through email that you earn dividends with this um, stock or with this company. And that they also will tell you that you can use this two to three days. You can even withdraw your um, dividend if you want to, or you can reinvest it uh, for or to get more shares. Number five, why invest in the stock markets? Actually, there are so many reasons. I'm going to give you three. First, you don't need a huge amount of money to invest. With um, as much as 1,000 pesos, you can start investing. And the best is that um, you are investing in one of the or some of the big companies in the country. They are already a well-established companies. And as they grow, you are also growing with them. And with that, Kung kumikita sila or kikita sila, kumikita ka din. So that is one of the reasons that you have to invest in the stock market. Second, infinite earning. So if you are a successful stock money investor, you can earn as much as 100% uh, in a certain stock or even 200%. The, in, the earning here is infinite um, or even 20% per year. Um, unlike any other investments, just like, for example, real estate investments, wherein um, it's very impossible for you to earn 100% in a year or 200% in two years, but in the actually in the stock market, it is possible if you are a successful stock market um, investor. So just like in my case, before, I have a stock that earns um, 150% in a span of three years, so that is really possible in a stock market. And the last one we have here, um, I posted there a Google because um, as you invest in a certain companies, of course, you have to research. You have to do your homework. So sa ngayon, mas mabilis na yung paghahanap ng mga, of course, information if you want to invest in Jollibee. So pwede mo na siyang makikita agad-agad sa um, internet. So, kung kumikita ba yung Jollibee or ano bang nangyayari sa Jollibee. Or if you can also read the company's um, fundamental business profile, historical data, or um, ano pa ba, um, even their um, balance sheet, mas makakatulong yun sa'yo para mas mapapabuti mo yung stocks or ma mas mabilis yung earnings mo sa stock market. Number six. What are the different forms in investing in the stock markets? Investing in, the, in a stock market comes in different forms. You can invest in an individual stocks through an online stock brokers, or you can also invest in equities through pooled fund investments managed by professional fund, fund managers. Um, with that, um, we have um, like, for example, mutual funds and VULs, VUL, variable universal life insurance, the combination of um, investing in stocks plus an insurance. And then, um, of course, as I've said, this is managed by professional uh, fund managers, so you don't have to, to do it by yourself. But, um, and so they will just um, provide and give you feedback on or will ask you which product is suited for you and where you have to invest, of course, depending on your risk profile. But then, of course, if you're going to compare um, these two, it's just like um, if you invest in individual stocks, you can choose your favorite stocks. And while for these pooled investment funds, you can't because... Um, each product that each professional managers has already um, designed or um, stocks in a certain product. So um, the difference is that, of course, the, the the second one they will get or the with the pooled investment funds managers get commission from the earnings or they will deduct fees from your investments. While investing in individual individual stocks, you have you, you are free. Um, you are only are uh, paying a small commission fee to your online stock broker. 
So that's it. Um, by the way, mutual funds and VULs, we have in the Philippines, Sun Life Financial, for example, they offer that, AXA, um, UITF, um, Unit Investment Trust Fund. These are with the banks, which are managed by professional fund bank managers. So for this, you just have to go directly to the bank and ask for a manager who handles this. And they will ask you to fill up something for you, for them kind of investor you are, if you are less aggressive or um, you are aggressive to the market. So they will, you can decide which product you are into. Number seven, what are the things you should look into a certain stock? Let's say if you want to buy a stock, for me personally, I make sure that the company has still space for expanding or this company is still um, growing and still in the business for a span of um, 10 or more years. So with that, I can make sure that my stocks, of course, will earn and when I, the moment I'll sell them. And then, um, of course, um, if you know how to read um, some company's technical report and income statement, for example, mas nakakatulong siya. Before, um, in my case, wala talaga akong idea on how to read those. Pero, lagi ko lang siyang chinecheck, lagi ko lang siyang tinitingnan. So, at this time, medyo may idea na ako kung ano yung mga numbers na nakalagay doon sa income statement. So, pwede nyo ring gawin yun. And then, for the newbies, of course, um, I can always advise that you try to check first before you do or before you choose some stocks. You try to check first the PSE where the blue, the so-called blue chips are listed. These are the top 30 um, companies that have strong valuations in the future. So, from there, Kung wala kayong idea kung ano yung stock na bibilhin nyo, you can check on those companies. And this is how you um, check them in the PSE website. Number eight, what is the best and the worst scenario in investing in the stock market? Well, the worst scenario is that if the company went bankrupt and cannot make any more money, you can lose up to 100% of your investment. So that is the worst scenario. The best scenario is that there is an infinite earning. Um, 100%, 200%. So if you can be a successful investor, you can earn um, in stock market infinitely. And so um, you just don't have, of course, there's a reward potential in stock market, but you also have to see the risk potential of a certain stock. Now with me, personally, I always choose stocks which I think double or will triple in a span of 10 to 20 years or are still space for expanding or if the business is still growing, with that, the rest potential is very much minimal. So always remember that you do not invest just in stocks, but you do invest in the business. Number nine, what are the deductions and fees involved in stock market investing? In my case, my online stock broker is called Financial, and here are the charges for buying and selling. First, commission. It's 0.25% of the gross rate amount and then value added tax of 12% of commission and then there's a fees e transaction fees and other fees of 0.15% of the gross rate amount and then for selling additional sales tax computed as number of shares times prices times 0 0.006% and with call financial, there is a minimum commission fee of 20 pesos per transaction. So, for example, if you buy stocks now worth 1,000 pesos, 
yung minimum charge niya is 20 pesos. Up to, if you buy 7,000 worth uh, of uh, stocks, still 20 pesos yung minimum. So, sometimes if may pera ka naman, pwede mo din i-consider yun. So, if you buy 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, up to 7,000 or, yeah, 7,000, yung charge nun is minimum of 20 pesos. So, that's it. Um, those are the nine basic questions that you may encounter if you want to start investing in the stock markets. So, for the next one, I'm going to give you the things that you have to do before you invest your money in the Philippine stock markets. So, here we are. The first one, of course, is you have to set up your emergency fund first. Um, as I always advise, you don't invest in the stock market without any emergency fund. Um, stock prices may go up and down and may go negative for a while. And so for that, you don't earn if you're going to sell those stocks. And so um, nobody exactly knows when those stock prices go up. So if something might happen to you, like for example, the ones listed here, like if you need to fix your house or if you need to go or admitted to the hospital or you lose your job, at least you have um emergency fund to use too. Um and also I don't um I don't um advise that you go if you also have debts or credit card debts, you may malaking utang sa credit card at nangutang pa just to invest in the stock market. Um you might consider that you might not be able to um gain or earn um, yung interest na dapat ibabayad mo dun sa mga inutang mo. Baka naman, mabaon ka din sa utang. So, yun. Um, the second one, um, as I've always said, yung stock market, hindi naman yun para mga mayayaman. That's for everybody. So, you have to do your research. You do study the market. Para din, may alam ka kung ano yung meron sa stock market. At huwag din mag-invest dahil nag-invest yung friend ko. Kasi yun, mas maraming nalugi doon. Pauso-uso lang. So, hindi po yun ganun. Before you do investing in the stock market, dapat po mag-research po muna tayo. So, there are so many stuff to learn dealing with stock market investing. So, invest small amount at a time while you are still in the process of learning. Invest on what you know and take time to learn on what you don't know. So, yun po yung ginagawa ko. Hindi naman po ako nag-aral talaga, nagbayad ng ma malaking uh, amount para mag-aral sa stock market. But then, um, along my way, in my seven years in experience in stock market, natutunan ko lang siya. So, as presented here, um, yung mga significant information are found in uh, PSE website and also yung stock broker mo din Sa akin kasi yung stock, online stockbroker, um, nakakatulong din siya kasi may mga research din sila doon. So, kung gusto mong mag-open account, maliit lang muna kung gusto mo and then you try to browse and check on, on the information given by the stockbrokers. So, um, that's it. You have to do your research. And then, the last one, of course, before you can invest, is of course to select an online stockbroker. So, these online stock brokers charge you for a commission for every transaction. So, you have to choose which one, which you think easy to use and you think which is very uh, informative for you. So, opening an account with these stock brokers is just like opening an, a bank account. So, as easy as that. So, um, with my case, with Call Financial, as I've said, there's no registration fee. Um, yung pag-open mo ng account, yun na din yung gagamitin mo para makapag-trade ka sa stock market. So, wala pong charge doon.
that's it. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you learned something from today's video. I'll see you in the next videos. Bye!